nobody is that perfect. Give him, like, I don't know, a stump or something, like... Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review for The Magician by D.A. Poopa. Not 100% sure if I'm saying that right, but deal with it. Sorry. I was sent this book by the author in exchange for my honest review, so I read it. It was really good. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. If you guys want to know my thoughts, stick around for the video, and uh, you'll learn my thoughts. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> First of all, can we just take in how pretty this cover is. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so gorgeous. It's such a pretty cover. It's so pretty. Once you read the book, it totally makes sense why it's set up like this. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, that's a really cool cover. But now that I read the book, like, it is so well done, the way that this is designed. I just, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite covers, 100%. So, so good. This book follows Frank Sorello, who retired from the FBI after a case involving a serial killer struck a little bit too close to home. Now, several years later, after a release of a book from a best-selling author raises a couple of red flags for Frank, he is sucked back into the FBI lifestyle. Now Frank must work against the clock quickly in order to catch the killer before things get a little bit too close to home yet again. I'm gonna put the book up here because... You know, your girl too lazy to hold things. I don't know if you're gonna see that, but look, beautiful. The book follows three different perspectives that run parallel to each other. It follows Frank's present day and then also one of the other characters, James. It follows his present and also his past. And I thought that Dave did such a good job incorporating that aspect into the book because a lot of people, when they change points of views, they, it just doesn't flow very well, but when Dave did it, it just worked really well, and the writing was very simple, but effective. The only major issue that I had with the story was the dialogue. I just found it to be kind of annoying because the characters would use each other's names after every single sentence. And it was like, Frank, blah 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 blah. Yes, Sarah, blah 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 blah. It was just got to the point where it was so repetitive, I was like, okay, hey, nobody talks like this, nobody is this formal with each other. Obviously, I understand why the author used the dialogue the way he did, because it made it easier to know who was talking to who. It just got overly done and repetitive to the point where I personally got annoyed, but it shouldn't take away from the story from anyone else, it's just a personal preference of mine where I found it annoying. I think the story was very complex and there was a lot of things going on at once, but the way that Dave wrote the book and the way that he laid it out made it very simple to follow and it was so thrilling and I just found it so entertaining. I read it in one sitting because that's how exciting I found it. I loved most of the characters. I didn't really like Frank that much. It got to the point where Frank just got on my nerves because he was so perfect and not flawed in any way. Like everybody was like, oh my god, Frank is the best thing that's ever happened to the FBI, blah blah blah. And it got to the point where I was like, okay, make him like, have one little flaw at least. It just, it, it was annoying because nobody is that perfect. Nobody. I absolutely loved James though. It was so interesting to see the way he thought and how he became who he was. It was so interesting to see how he like put things together and like, the way his mind worked, I just thought it was super interesting. So he was definitely my favorite character. Which probably should not be that way, but I always like the weird characters. And the ending of the book is such a cliffhanger. I cannot wait until the second book comes out. I was lucky enough to read the first two chapters of it because Dave sent me them and asked me my opinion. And I am so excited for that book. It's going to be so good. I can already tell. I'm going to love it. And the dialogue is so much better in the second book. It's just, yes, I'm excited. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so that was my review of The Magician. I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really entertaining and thrilling. It's available on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, if you guys want to check it out. I would highly recommend it. It was good. The second book is coming out in the summer, so I mean, you might as well read the first book, except he said that the second book you can read as a standalone if you don't want to read the first book, but I would suggest reading the first book because it was real good. So I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!